It is a beautiful fall day here in Western Canada, November, and we have plus 11 degrees, hardly any wind, which is absolutely unusual, both in temperature and lack of wind this time of the year. I just thought I'd show off my, my front engine dragster here. This here is a Norm Porter built front engine dragster. It was built in around 1996 or so for a fella named Cam McCallum out of Winnipeg, Manitoba. And he had a Hemi engine in it. And I was pretty intrigued about this. I remember seeing it the very first time in the flesh, sometime in around about 1998 or nine. And I fell in love with the idea of a front engine dragster. Um, Cam though, unfortunately did not race it much in the local racetrack. So he was heading down into the States mostly and therefore I didn't get to see it much. Um, after a while he did park it and then um, I had been looking for it for a long time. It had been parked about 20 years and um, the condition you see it in is actually pretty close to the way I found it. Um, this particular motor is much different though. He had sold his engine off and this motor well, I came from Oregon. It was built for 90% nitro. So it actually has a fairly low 10 and a half to one compression ratio. Um, it's stroked to 420 cubic inches though. So it's fairly large and it runs on alcohol injected. Um, you can see, uh, you know, it's, it's in great shape. And, and actually I've been able to run pretty decent times. Uh, this is my very first chance to ever run a front engine dragster before, or actually any dragster of, for that matter. And so I had to license this year and that took me a little while. I did manage to run an 840 um, at about 165 miles per hour with it. And there's lots left in it yet. Um, it did run as fast as 770s in the previous build. So hopefully I can get there. Um, there are a few changes though, and I have added an, a bit of weight to this particular build since it was run by Cam McCallum. This build now has uh, the 392 Hemi, which is actually about 60 pounds more than the uh, previous motor that was in here. Also, I'm running a larger bottle on here for fire. And uh, also I have an accumulator right down in front of the motor here. So, you know, I've added a few things to uh, add weight here. I'll, um, the other thing I should point out is inside this large fuel tank, which, well, looks like a large fuel tank, the very front half of it actually is hollow and empty. And uh, inside of that, I have my battery. So now I'm actually running a starter built right onto this dragster. That took a lot of effort to try and make it work, but I did make it work pretty well. I did a lot of work to try and hide all the fuel lines and uh, any of the electrical, that kind of stuff, to make it look as nostalgic as possible. And um, yeah, so it, it, it works really, really well. Um, I'm quite excited to take it out again next year. I only had a chance to run it two different weekends. Um, here's a shot of the cockpit, pretty straightforward. I did add a few switches that are on the right side of the steering. And um, the first one is for the oil. Um, so the oil accumulator, you can actually press that button and it releases oil into the engine um, before you start it up. The second one I haven't actually finished yet, but that will be a fuel priming system. And then the third one is actually the starter. Um, you can see the on and off switch there right beside the steering wheel down to the right. That's for your ignition. And then the little pull push lever there, that's actually for fuel. And of course your shifter. It's just got a two speed power glide in it. And then here on the right side, you can actually see the brake handle. Um, pretty straightforward. It's uh, it's pretty old school, that's for sure. Oh, and there's a trans brake up there on the steering uh, as well. It's a pretty sweet unit. I actually am still running a Pro Mag on it. And then I have some electronics in here. So I have a three-step uh, launch control. I'll try and get that in there so you can see it. Uh, down to the left of the steering wheel. And uh, for now, I just have tape on it to show my, or remind myself what those are for. And uh, pretty straightforward.
Um, I did have to do so many modifications to the car since Cam ran it because unfortunately, well, the specs changed so dramatically. So I've had to add this little bar up in here as well as some vertical bars down on the frame. Um, I added a bunch of tabs to the frame so that the so that the wiring and all of the hoses all route really nicely and follow the frame so they're a little bit more hidden and it looks pretty good I'd say. A um, couple little bugs to work out yet but they're so small I mean for the very first weekend out we were able to run that 840 and um, it, it was pretty impressive. Such a beautiful unit. I think it's uh, a lot of fun and certainly grabbed a lot of attention when I brought it out to the track the very first time. And um, yeah, it's been a very exciting adventure. If you have any questions, leave some comments and I'll try and respond to them when I see them. Thanks.